Hi, I'm Nixon from ZipScanners, and today I'm going to show you how to program your TRX-1. I'm going to do that today using an SD card. Um, my laptop has an SD card reader, um, and it's just a little bit quicker, and it's how I prefer to do it. There's other ways to program, but I'm just going to show you how I like to do it today. So, first thing I want you to do is open up the software program and I have actually shown you how to download that in the first video and in the second video I showed you how to connect your USB from your scanner to your computer. Now what I want to do is to show you how to program and I'm doing that today again using an SD card. So let's click on file, new configuration, let's go find an empty slot here at the bottom. Here we go, here's one select that. I'm gonna set the band plan and we need to set a description of what we're gonna program today. I live in Minnesota and my county happens to be Hennepin. Click OK and I'm gonna name that right here. So once you're done doing that, uh, you're going to click on library import. Um, you're going to find your state, it's Minnesota, and find that county that you want. In my case, I want Hennepin. So here we are. I'm going to click on the categories, Hennepin County, and I'm going to show you how easy it is. I'll just do a quick example. So. These subcategories are pretty much cities within Hennepin County. Um, the one that I want, these are just conventional channels, by the way. So keep that in mind. Uh, so click on whatever you want. Notice if you double click them, you'll go inside. And there are things that I don't want to listen to. And there's going to be things you don't want to listen to. So you can go ahead and uncheck those. I want these, so I'll leave those checked. I don't want any ticking and towing. So let's just say, for example, this is what I want. Great, they are checked. I can go back now. And now what I want to do is actually import these selected channels. So that's going to be right here on your right, bottom right. Click on that. And I'm going to want to import them within this folder that I made. So click on import channels. Once that's done, click on return to county. And if you want to add more counties, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you how I did for Hennepin. So now that that is finished, I'm going to go ahead and prepare scanner memory card for use. Click on that. Make sure these are checked before you get going so they can actually clean up the SD card and write on them. So I'll format and say yes, follow the directions, it takes me to this window and I'll click on enter. And now they're going to ask which one of these folders did I want to copy onto the SD card. Well, I don't want them all so I'm going to clear that, I'm going to go down and you'll notice when we set the description. I named it Hennepin, so I'll click on that, and this is the one that will be copied to the SD card. Click on Copy Folders. And as it goes through this process, let it do its thing. As, as I was saying earlier, the reason I like the SD card to program is it's a lot quicker. Um, it would take even longer if you were using just the, the scanner itself uh, connected to the uh, computer. So now that once you're done, you'll have, this screen will pop back up. Um, we'll close it since we already formatted it. And you are complete um, and ready to go. So that's a quick tutorial on how to program. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me, nixon at zipscanners.com. I'm here to help. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.